This is the cam before the storm right here. How was I gonna start this off? I forgot. Oh yeah. Welcome to episode four of Dialogue. One, two, three, four. Episode four. This week we take an in-depth look behind one of Manchester's premier hip hop nights, More Bounce, featuring Pete Rock, CL Smooth, J Rue the Damager, Donald Trump gets no love in hip hop. Surprise, surprise. And we take a look at a uh, chim from Baza Ranks from Irish Moss Records. Dialogue episode 4. Get into the uh, particulars of the more points gig, Pete Rock, Seal Smooth, and Jay with the Damager. If you want to see more, if you want to help this dialogue, uh, hit the like button, leave us a comment below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing this every week when I release some music as well. You'll be the first one to see it. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. No, make sure you smash that bell for notifications. Without further ado, let's continue. <laughs> Come to the conclusion that it is in fact quite impossible to hear shite tune at more points. You'll not hear a shit tune at more points. The, in the ingredients aren't there for you to be listening to any whack sort of hip hop. And one of the main reasons for that, Mikey Dawn. Mikey Dawn, if you don't know, he's a legend of the Manchester hip hop scene. One of the original members of Crispy 3. He's an OG rap legend of Manchester. But he got the night off to a superb start, playing some nice, nice 90s hip hop beats in any place. The tunes that everybody knows then, he's perfected the art of the, the warm up DJ. Everybody was just in the right zone for to hear Jay with the damager come on and slay it. So, this is what it sounded like. <laughs> Not only was he playing amazing tunes and building the vibe correctly, the man's t-shirt, he was wearing a t-shirt that said more more dogs, more blacks, more Irish. <laughs> Respect, sir. Tap my hat to Mikey Dawn, true hip hop legend. Mikey Dawn's also got a, a new record out with AIM at the minute. You should check that out. The link's going to be in the description section underneath as well, so go check that out. Okay, so when I got in, the vibes were good. I was taking some shots and just kind of trying to, trying to sense out where the best area would be to get footage. I looked at my left. And casually, Jay with the damager just sitting there chatting to the fans, chatting to the attendees, just sitting kicking it, taking photos, check it out. <laughs> 
Iconic Con of Children of Zeus came on after Mikey Dawn set and they just Jeru the Damager and then we kicked off the first headline act for the night and it went off. Check it out. <laughs> sort of standing there and they're just kind of they're in observation mode some MCs just like to let them be in observation mode and all right then so the vibes kind of low and just let them observe J. Rue the Damager is not that MC J. Rue the Damager if he's not getting a crowd response he stops the music stop that shit and he calls you on your bullshit see what I did there it was funny he was doing that all night stopping it being all what the f Wake up, wake up! It's all about this crowd interaction, check it out. Oh no! I think I hear good sound! Why are you blacking at me? Don't do that. You're bad with them. Too many Jamaicans, that's how Jamaican shoot. Because we all about that real hip hop. Can you believe I made that record 25 years ago? I know I'm very beautiful for my age.
Did you see how pleased he was when they started shouting louder? He walked away with like a cheeky smile like I got them right here. And then you had the main headline act of the night. After that, Pete Rock and CL Smooth. This is the second time within a year that they played in Manchester and the turnout was massive. It was a great response. Probably because there was two headline acts on. But that's just more points nights. They're quality nights. The best hip hop night in Manchester by a long shot. But yeah, they're looking top physical form. Check it out. As you probably know from Eminem's epic rant about Donald Trump, some people say that was weak, which I can hear what they're saying. Lyrically, I don't think it was his best thing. Maybe it was just a social thing that he was trying to do, and people start critiquing it. That's just the way it is. But what made it abundantly clear is hip hop does not have any room for Donald Trump. I know the mainstream like they talk about making money like Donald Trump. But on the underground, I think Pete Rock made it abundantly clear that Donald Trump does not have a home with true hip hop heads. He didn't really have any many nice words to say about him. Let me check it out. <laughs>
And of course they ended with the classic-ish Troy they reminisce over you what everybody came to see. show was brought to you by a woman and that man is Glenn McCann uh, Digit for more points so big up Digit uh, the link for more points will be in the description section below the next one they have up is the Juice Crew and the events page for that will be in the description below on Facebook too and all the tickets for Skittles so if you want to attend the Juice Crew in Manchester check out the description section we'll hook you up alright this week's pick of the week this week's pick of the week is from my fellow countryman, Basil Ranks. Basil Ranks is of Irish Moss Records and he has got a tune out called Rhythm Rider featuring Jago and Dimash J. This track got pick of the week because it's on some 90s era rag I think, but it is a flames tune. <laughs> Without further ado, Buys a ranks with him later, check it out. for this weekend of course if you like what you're seeing uh, hit the like button uh, share it on your social media avenues and leave a comment below until next time see you next week and have a good week